New details tonight on a plea deal involving a close associate of Congressman Matt Gates. Joel Greenberg pleaded guilty today to several federal charges, including sex trafficking a minor. That plea, part of a cooperation agreement in an investigation the Republican from the Panhandle insists has nothing to do with him. Joel Greenberg, an associate of Florida Congressman Matt Gates, promised to fully cooperate with prosecutors as he pleaded guilty in federal court to six charges, including child sex trafficking and wire fraud. Mr. Greenberg has pled guilty uh, pursuant to a plea agreement. It has certain requirements and obligations on him. Uh, and he attempts to honor that. In his plea agreement, Greenberg, a former Seminole County tax collector, admits to being involved in, quote, sugar daddy relationships where he paid women for sex, including a minor that he introduced to other adult men who engaged in commercial sex acts. Multiple sources told CBS News one of those men was Congressman Gates, who is facing a Justice Department investigation looking into whether he had a sexual relationship when the girl was 17, something Gates has repeatedly denied. The Florida the congressman has not been indicted, and a spokesperson noted Mr. Gates was not named nor referenced in Mr. Greenberg's plea. Greenberg also admitted to a smear campaign against former political opponent, high school teacher Brian Butte. I want to see all crime, all corruption rooted. One of the smear tactics was faking claims of an unwanted sexual relationship between Butte and a student. A Gates spokesman reacted to the plea deal saying, Joel Greenberg has now confessed to falsely accusing an innocent man of having sex with a minor. Above the courthouse, a plane pulled a banner reading TikTok Matt Gates, but the congressman seems undaunted by the scandal. He rallied last week with fellow Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene and addressed an Ohio political summit this weekend where he reportedly told the crowd he is being falsely accused. Greenberg was originally charged with 33 counts. He faces a minimum of 12 years in prison for the six charges, but his sentence can be reduced based on his level of cooperation.